we have calculate correct let's calculate correct correct to the nearest to the nearest to the nearest degree to the nearest degree the vertical angle of the cone the vertical angle of the cone vertical angle vertical angle of the cone of the cone that's the question that's the question now you look at the question very well look at it very well it says a set a sector of a circle with radius so we have a sector this is sector watch this sector i've explained this very well this sector and it's of radius this is the radius of the sector this is the radius this is the radius this is the center of the circle where it's coming from so this is sector okay so let's watch this is sector look at pay attention this is the radius of the sector this is the radius of the sector we have done this thing several times i've explained this several times so they say the radius the radius is 21 centimeter the radius of that sector is 21 centimeters you know said as an area area they gave us as 280 centimeters squared area they gave us 280 centimeters squared now says you calculate the perimeter you have to find the perimeter that's question one calculate the perimeter perimeter is unknown that's the question one okay who can tell me how do we calculate question one see if you perimeter how do we calculate perimeter of a sector anybody you can you can tell me so r plus theta over 360 times two pi r okay perimeter of a sector perimeter of a sector is simply equals to length of arc plus two radii length of an arc look at what is called perimeter you know what's called perimeter i've explained this thing perimeter is just what it means sum of all the outline of the shape the sum of all the outline of the shape is called perimeter so what what are the things that make what are the outline that make up this shape let's see what makes up the shape let's start from here so if you go like this you go like this you go like this that's what makes up this shape now what do we call this place anybody what do you call here what do we call here? Radius. Radius. What do we call here? Anybody? Fast tell me. What do we call here? Radius. Radius. What do we call this place here? What do we call this place? Arc. 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 So the length of the arc, L. That means it should be what? This radius. Just watch. Let's watch again. Let's watch again. Just watch. Just watch again. That means your, your, your sector has this radius, this radius, and has this arc. So three things make up the perimeter. That be radius plus radius plus length of this arc. That's called the perimeter of this sector. So how do we get the length of an arc? Length of an arc L is what? Anybody? What's the formula for length of arc? Theta over 360 oh, R times 2 okay. pi r so that means i can use this to get the length of the arc and i can use this to get perimeter of the sector so if i know the length if i know this i can get this answer also if i know this length and get this answer as well so the question is what how do we get this length we need theta over 36 times 360 degrees times 2 pi r we know r we know pi we don't know theta Theta is not given in this question. Who can tell me? How do we get theta in this question? Anybody? How do we get theta in this question? Yeah. 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 God bless you. Because they gave us area of the sector as 280. What's the formula for area of a sector? Anybody? What's the formula for area of a sector? God bless you. Times pi r squared. Times pi r squared. So you can make, you can just find. Uh, what's it called here? Theta from here. What's the area they give to us? 280. 
God bless you. So we have theta over 360. Theta over 360. The area is what? 280. This one is 280 times your pi is 22 all over 7. Then R is, what's the R they gave to us? 20, 21. 21 squared. So can you say that word? Okay, let's bring this 7 and this 360 here. And say 280 times 360 times 7 equals what's 21 squared? Can somebody say what's 21 squared? 21 squared oh, times yeah. 22. This one, this one times 22. What do you get? Anybody? What do you get? 9702. 9702. Good. Theta will not be what? It should not be 280 times 360 times 7 all over 9702. Can you give me the answer? Divide it. What do you have? Seventy two seven. Seventy two point seven. Point seven degrees. Good. God bless you. So let's not go. So let's go and find the length of the arc. So length of the arc. You've got this now. Theta is seventy two point seven all over three sixty times two times pi. Pi is twenty two all over seven times radius is twenty one. The theta I did not know before. I've gotten theta now, times 21. So you can say seven year one, seven year three. So you can continue and do, like, do more, more of that. What will, what will be your L now? If you punch calculator, what, do, what will be your L? Anybody? What will be your L? Anybody? Six. 26.7. Seven centimeter. Why is this centimeter? Anybody? Why is this centimeter? Why? Because, because the unit of the length. Because, the, because they give us radius in centimeter. They give us area in centimeter square. So we have to maintain centimeter also. Length is now what? Length plus two radii. That'd be what? What's the length? 26.7 plus two times radius is 21. So what's the final answer, anybody? That would be 42 plus 26.7. What was that? 68.7. centimeter also. Centimeter. Don't forget that. Centimeter. That is the perimeter of the, I mean, that's the perimeter of this sector. Now, I've told you something before. Okay. I've told you. Hold on, please. Just copy that one if you have not, if you have not done it before. Now, they said, look at the body. He said the sector is bent. Look at this side. The sector is bent to form a cone. I want to re explain this since I've already taught it before. I want to re explain it. Now look at the sector. This is sector. Just pay attention, everybody. Pay attention. This is your sector. Pay attention. Which has radius, radius, and length of the arc. Now, See the sector here, look at it, see my hand. Look at the sector here, everybody, look at it. This is sector, you can see. If I bend it, if I bend, you can see the, you can see the wall, this is the arc, see the arc. Look at the arc, look at the radii, see the radii, see the arc. This is the arc, these are the two radii. So I want, I want to now fold, I want to fold, okay, now, if I, if I, this is the sector, you can see that it's, it looks like what I drew on the board, arc and two radii. Now, if I fold, if I fold this, look at, look at, look at what is called a cone. See a cone. Look at a cone. Don't look at that, uh, the sector, how will the sector form this cone? That's not your business. That isn't your business. You see the board. I want to fold this sector now. I want to fold. See my, I want to fold. This sector has to fold now. See my hand? I'm folding. I'm folding. I'm folding. Yeah, I folded it. Look at it. It's folded. See it here. Look at the cone. See it from inside. You can see the cone. The cone is having a circle in the base. This is circle here. The cone has been folded. The cone has been folded. So you can see the cone is folded. Look at my hand. Look at it. Look at the circle. Look at it. Let's fold this very well. 
You can see the edge. Just pay attention. You can see this place. You can see it inside here. You can see. See. See this edge here. This is a circle at the bottom of that cone. A cone is like this. So a sector can be folded to form a cone. The bottom of the cone is a circle. This has a circle. The question we ask you now is what? What actually became that circle? What folded to become that circle? Anybody? What folded to become that circle? Anybody? The arc. The arc. So this whole arc. The arc. This whole arc. Let me let me unfold. Let me unfold it. See. Let me unfold it. See. See that this is the arc that formed the circle. So if I fold it back, see that what? See that what? See it. The arc formed this circle. So look at it now. If I unfold this, you have this one back. So when you fold a sector, what do you see? For a folded sector, you will say length, length of the arc. Length of the arc. I mean the whole of this thing. Watch. Just watch everybody. Somebody should please watch. Somebody should please watch. The whole of this arc actually became this circle. It becomes this circle. You know, if you have a wire like this, like this, you can fold this wire and form a circle. So if you have this curve like this, you can fold it and become this circle. Don't look at the size, it's not important. The size is in my immaterial. Don't say how this small thing from this big thing. That's that's not important. That's not what you are doing. So the length of this arc, this whole arc, this whole arc, the length of this whole arc, like this, the length of this whole arc is equal to the word perimeter of this circle. Because it's this wire like this, this arc that folded will become this circle. So you say what? Well, length of arc of the sector, length of arc of the sector, length of arc of the sector is equal to circumference or perimeter of the cone. This is what you need to know. Circumference of the cone. Circumference of the base of the cone. Of the base of the cone. Just take note of that statement. The circumference of this thing is the circumference of a circle and it's 2 pi r. It's 2 pi r. That is for the circle. We'll put for the cone, I mean, we'll put C here. So that means the length of arc of the of the sector will be theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r. Which r is this? R of the sector. This is for the sector. This is the angle here. This is the angle of the sector. So you have what? This is for the sector. This is the radius of the sector. But the, the circumference of the base of the cone is 2 pi r. But the base of the cone is a circle. The base is a circle. And the circumference or perimeter of a circle is 2 pi r. So 2 pi r. Where r is what? Radius of the cone. So I will call rc radius of the cone. I will call RS radius of the sector. Does anybody have a better understanding of this concept now? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Good. Now, again, if you can see, remember again, what I call this place for a cone. Look at the board. This is, watch please. This is an arc. Watch please. This is an arc. This is an arc. If you fold this arc now, if you fold this sector, see the board. It has just become a what? A cone. It's not having a circular base. It's having a circular base. You can see it's having a circular base. This circular base is formed by this arc. Now, what formed this place and this place? Anybody? What formed here and here? Anybody? What formed these two places? Radius. The radius. radius. So this is called the slant height of the cone. This is called slant height of the cone. And the slant height of the cone is equal to radius of the sector. Is equal to radius of the sector. If you don't do assignment, you cannot understand mathematics. It's not magic. I keep telling you, it's not magic. Okay, this is the radius of the sector. Okay, now look at the board. Look at the board. The length of arc, the length, I mean, sorry, the radius of this sector is always the words, is always 
the slant height of the cone. You have to note that. So let's continue, please. Let's continue. So let's go. So for, this part is for sector. This part is for the sector. This part. So let's go. What's theta for the sector? Anybody? What's theta for the sector? 72.7 degrees. 72.7 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7. What's the radius of the sector? First, anybody? 21 centimeter. 21 centimeter equals 2 times 22 over 7 radius of the cone. We have to find the radius of the cone. We must find the radius of the cone. So who can tell me what's now the answer for the what is the O answer here, anybody? What's the O answer here? Anybody? 4.2 centimeters. No, 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 no. Answer my question. What's the O answer here? Give me this answer here, like this. This one. Give me the answer for this one alone. 26.7. 26.7 equals what's two times 44 over seven? Give me the answer. Two, two times 22 all over seven. Give me the answer. 6.3. 6.3, God bless you, times RC. So what's now the radius of the cone now? 26.7 all over 6.3. What's the answer? Please tell me. 4.2. 4.2 centimeter. That's the radius of this cone. Now, I haven't gotten the radius of the cone. Look, watch, please. I haven't gotten the radius of the cone. What's the next thing we do? They say we should find the what? Watch, see what they Find the, the nearest degree, the vertical angle of the cone. See the cone. Let's see a typical cone. See cone. This is a typical cone. A right, a right, uh, a right angle cone. This is a cone. This is slant height. This is the vertical height. This is the radius of the cone. So this is called the vertical height. This is the radius of the cone, RC. And this is the slant height of the cone, which is the same thing as what? Radius of the sector for this question only. You have to take note of that. You must take note of that. Okay. Look at the board. This place is called radius of the cone. This is called the vertical what? height of the cone. This is slant height of the cone. For this question, the slant height is the same as radius of the sector. Radius of the sector. Now, this is the angle. Vertical angle. I, did, vertical I, did, angle. I, did, I did not use this method, but I got it. I used under yes. method. It doesn't matter. Any method you use is okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. As, as long as you get it right. Okay, sir. It's okay. Like, look at the board, please. Vertical angle. See the angle here. This is theta here. Let's watch it. There are two vertical angles there. If there's one anyway, it's only one, but it will be split into two. This is one here and this is one here, and they are the same thing. This is the same thing as this. So how do we get that angle now? Just look at the triangle you're looking at. Look at it. It's like this. This is a straight line. This is the slant height of the cone. This is the radius of the cone. This is the angle we are looking for. This is the angle we are looking for. How do we get that angle? You just say what? You just say, this is what? Right angle. It's the right angle cone also. What do you call RC? This is opposite, Abby. What do you call RC? Opposite. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. What, do you, what do you call L? If RC is the opposite, what do you call F? Hypotenuse. What do I apply? Sine or cos or tan? Sine. So sine theta Sorry. equals to opposites, opposites all over hypotenuse. So that means what? Sine theta equals RC all over RS. Oh, you know that what now? That the, the, the slant height the same as what radius of the sector am i still correct so what's rc that we got 4.2 all over what's rs what's the radius of the sector 21 21, 21. so we now 21. have we now have what do we have there so tell me based on that what do you have oh yeah 0 0.2 equals to 0 0.2 what? 
it's a degree. <laughs> sine theta equals zero point, yes, tell me. Two. Zero point two. What's not theta? Theta will be what? Ask sine of zero point two. What's the answer? Tell me. 11.5 11.5 degrees. What is that the total angle? Vertical angle is now what? What's the whole vertical angle? Vertical angle of the cone is now what? 23. 23. That'll be 11.5 plus 11.5. That's what? 23 degrees. Why are we adding? Because this theta here, this theta, this theta, total will be what? Theta plus theta. I have to add this whole thing like this. I have to add theta and theta. That's what we call the three degrees. All right, let's see number two question. 